And welcome everyone, thank you very much for joining me today on my latest episode. As you can see, Liverpool have completed the signing of Step van der Berg, the young Dutch centre-back. I talked about it yesterday, I knew it was very close to being completed and I'm pretty sure it was, as I said in yesterday's video, it was going to have to be in the next very short couple of days anyway and it has been announced today on Liverpool's website. I go straight into the story. Everyone, let me know your thoughts on the si deal to sign Step van der Berg. Liverpool have agreed a deal with PC Zwolle for the transfer of Sepp van der Berg, which will be completed in July, subject to international clearance. The 17-year-old has finalised a long-term deal on with the Reds after agree an agreement was reached with the editor Vizzi club. This comes from Liverpool's official website. The quote from van der Berg, he goes on to say, It's just an amazing feeling. It is... For me, the biggest club in the world, and it's a dream come true. I am really excited. I've seen what kind of players from the academy grew into the first team here. It is unbelievable, especially when this kind of big club does that. Of course, the trans trainer, Jürgen Klopp, is a great guy, and one of the reasons they are very successful, and also one of the reasons I came here. I think this is the best place for me to grow and hopefully play a lot of games here. Obviously, he was one of the youngest ever players in Eredivisie in Dutch football to make an appearance. 16 years old. I think it was in around 60 odd years since that record had been broken. Anyway, it's 16 years, a couple of days anyway. But everyone, let me know your thoughts on that. I'm made up. I, I'm, I was very confident this deal would get through. Out of all the transfer rumours that we have been and the players that we have been getting linked with, this was very much the most concrete bit of information out there in terms of the general press uh, and the very much well-respected journalists out there in, in the UK and, and especially abroad as well. But everyone, let me know your thoughts. Are you hoping? As I said, are you hoping he breaks into the first team? As I said yesterday in yesterday's video, he's at a similar level to Joe Gomez from all the scouting reports that European correspondents have all done and wrote about um, the young lad anyway. Still only 17, he's going to be playing alongside, hopefully training alongside as well. Van, Virgil van Dijk, the absolute legend, so it, hopefully he picks up a lot from him. I'm pretty sure he will, he's still 17 years old. He's in and around 6 foot 2 as well, so he's he's going to be very much still growing into his 20, till he's 21 anyway, so he could turn out to be a big massive 6 foot 6, 6 foot 7 giant. Um, that would be mental anyway, but everyone let me know your thoughts on this. Signing now as well, yet yeah, there was two signs on Anfield today. A, a fantastic young prospect anyway. This is official from Liverpool's website anyway. Yet again, get involved in the stories. Let me know your thoughts. If you've seen this lad play, signed his first professional contract with Liverpool Football Club. The 18-year-old midfielder has been training with the Reds since the age of six and formally joined the club three years later. Born in Somalia but raised in Toxteth, Sheriff was an important part of Barry Lort's under-18 side last season. He started in the FA Cup final and scored a penalty in the shootout, which saw Liverpool lift the trophy the first time in 12 years. Sheriff made his full under-23s debut in January, going on to score his first goal at the level against Chelsea in April. We're getting a lot of great talent at the football club, especially if Liverpool are to go on to potentially win a couple of Premier League titles. You watch it when... When Barcelona have been on top, Real Madrid, the likes of United, when they were winning constantly title after title. It's all right having your players and like your main key players, but I tell you what, if you've got a pool of young talent coming through and you can ease them into a winning side, it makes the transition very much easier for Jürgen Klopp. So we're going to the next story now. This is a bit of a mad one, but... If you're not aware, Kylian Mbappe is in America doing a lot of promo promo stuff with with Nike and everything. For the, I think he went to see the the NBA final as well. I think just Daniel Sturridge went over there. Obviously, he's on his holidays, but Daniel Sturridge took a little cheeky picture with Kylian Mbappe, and, and and Mbappe used to do the Daniel Sturridge dance anyway, which is great to see. And hopefully, I tell you what, if Mbappe starts doing the Daniel Sturridge 
Dance at Anfield one day, you never know, that would be fantastic, but it's great to see Daniel Sturridge having a quality time over there in the States. I think he might be moving to America, uh, all the, all, everything is pointing to a move to America on his Instagram and everything, so all the best to you Sturridge, hopefully you're having a lovely time with his boss that he met, Kylian Mbappe. And we're going to the final news really in terms of surrounding Steven Gerrard. He has been linked with the Newcastle United job. He has entered the shortlist, apparently, if, if you want to believe the rumours, but uh, of a whole host of managerial, I think Avram Grant was linked with Newcastle United. It's absolutely disgrace what happens. Um, if you ask every single Newcastle fan, they would have wanted, and they, they absolutely, hand in heart, they all would have wanted Rafa to stay at 99.9%. Apart from that 1%, uh, 0.1% of... People in Newcastle, i.e. Mike Ashley, um, decided to get rid of Rafa. I, I tell you what, you're not going to get a better Rafa who is available on the, on this current market. No discredit to all the, the managers out there, but I tell you what, Rafa was doing a fantastic job. But Gerard being linked with the managerial role in Newcastle, I don't think, for me personally, I want to know your thoughts. I don't think... It would help his managerial terms in his career. I'd want him to stay at Rangers, get a couple of seasons there, and very much get stable and, and very much work out his tactics, his style of play at Rangers anyway, bringing in some Liverpool players. But let me know your thoughts on that, everyone. It was only a little quick short one. Would you like to see Steven Gerrard move to Newcastle United? It would, if it potentially did happen, it would be he would be getting valuable experience in the Premier League anyway. Obviously, the Scottish League is not as competitive as the Premier League, so a lot of people could look to that and say Gerrard moving to Newcastle would make sense in the future for Gerrard's managerial career. But I don't think I think Gerrard's in a position where he doesn't have to rush at, New, at Rangers anyway. He, he's got a stable club there and a club that is fully backing him so if he was to, to go to Newcastle and results didn't pick up or he wasn't able to get um, straight out, out the blocks anyway in terms of getting his style of football and getting results most importantly I think Mike Ashley would look at, at Gerrard and very much give him the chop very early on like he has done with a lot of managers at Newcastle this is a man who give Alan Pardew a 10 year contract it's absolutely mental you wouldn't even give Rafa an extra bit of contract anyway and give him an extra bit of money because he was doing he brought out Almiron from the MLS he looked like a, a fantastic signing for Newcastle at the back end in, in January but all the best Rafa and wherever Gerard ends up I think for me personally I want to know your thoughts most importantly but I think he will stay at Rangers and I think if Gerard was asked i think pretty sure he would reject the offer in, in in respect to rafford as well regardless if it was a previous manager anyway it doesn't make sense for him personally i don't think but let me know your thoughts but everyone thank you so much for getting involved and thank you so much for all the support on yesterday's episode and today's episode if you are checking it out Drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it anyway. Let me know your thoughts on the two official signings Liverpool have signed, the two young lads. Uh, Van der Berg, fantastic prospect. Great, great signing from the Netherlands. Um, and the young lad, Sharif, um, the young signing. And he's signing his first professional contract at the football club anyway. But everyone, have a lovely rest of your day. Enjoy the sunshine. I will be going in the garden, getting some suntan. Because um, as you can see, it's me, uh, me Irish and me Scottish blood in me. Uh, good old Andy Robbo. We, we don't tan very well. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, everyone, have a quality rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow for another episode. You'll never walk alone. Cheer out, everyone.